Uh, we just tried to come out and play, play our style of basketball, play better defense. Uh, you know, they're a great uh, scoring team. Everybody knows they really shoot the three-point shot well. So we really had to focus on that. And we know <clears throat> they hurt us in the first two games in Caja, you know, from the three-point shot. So we definitely, you know, uh, we're concentrating on that. And uh, they missed some shots. You know, we were fortunate they missed shots. We made shots. And, uh, you know, our crowd got behind us and then pushed us to the win. I think that that's the biggest difference. You know, our home fans, the passion, the energy in the, in the, in the gym, and, uh, you know, our will. And uh, I think that showed. You know, that's been our motto all season, you know, not to let down. Uh, we won't let down, you know, and we're not. And, uh, you know, we've etched that in our brains and in our minds, and everybody believes that. So, you know, when he went down, you know, it, it just inspired us to even, to push even harder, you know, for him, because we know how bad he wants it. You know, he's one of the big, big parts of this team, the reason why we are, you know, where we are in the, in the EuroLeague this season. And uh, we didn't want it all to, to be for nothing. So everybody, you know, stepped up, guys, understood the situation, and, uh, you know, we, we pushed forward. You just pray to God they miss. Uh, you know, try to make them do something different. You know, if, if you like to shoot threes, then we try to make you put the ball on the floor. If you like to drive, we try to make you shoot. You just try to get them to do, you know, things that they're not used to doing, things they're not comfortable with doing, and uh, we know that's a big part of their game. And um, we just need a lot of luck and uh, willpower, and uh, you know, we can do it. We will do it. Just play the same way we played, you know, in the, the end of the, uh, the second game in Caja and uh, also in the, the, the third game here. You know, come out with the same energy, the same focus, the same will, intensity, you know, with our crowd behind us. You know, go out there, have fun, don't play under pressure, but, you know, cause pressure. And, uh, you know, that's, that's, how, that's how we play, that's how we've been playing all year. And uh, we just have to be ourselves. You know, continue to play defense like we have been and uh, just keep believing. You know, Dorn has been uh, a great player for us all year, and he uh, is certainly one of the main reasons that we're uh, at the point we are. Uh, not easy to replace uh, a player of his uh, stature and abilities and personality, but I think that uh, when a soldier goes down, the best way to honor him is to uh, try to accomplish everything that he sacrificed for and he worked for, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Well, of course, you know, uh, we all pay attention to uh, statistics and to trends and to the uh, relative uh, strong points of, uh, of the opponent and, uh, and, of course, to your own strengths. Uh, at the same time, you know, I have to say that uh, over time, generally, the law of averages evens out. You know, we shot the ball extremely poorly in the first two games, and Caja Laboral shot the ball well, which they normally do. Uh, maybe even a little bit better, uh, particularly from the three-point line. Um, you know, the, these are reasons that the first two games went the way that they did. It was a big, big uh, success for us to be able to overcome the shooting percentage difference in uh, game number two and find a way to win that game. Obviously, yesterday things went a lot better for us from the field, both from two and from three on the foul line. And for Cajalabroa, less so, but if you look at the average over three games, uh, they're pretty much where their percentages normally are. We were not. We raised up, and then that was a big factor in our, our success yesterday. First of all, it's challenging. When you have uh, as many shooters and the type of shooters that they have, you have to be uh, all that much more conscious conscious uh, at every point of the offense. Uh, it's not easy to play off of anyone. You know, you really have to do a great job, uh, mano mano, to take a, a Spanish expression. You know, you have to be able to control your man and not give 
uh, a lot of space for them to play because of dribble penetrations or uh, uh, things of that nature that free up guys on the perimeter because Cajalaboral also does a great job of finding people. You know, they're, they're as, as, as good as shooters as they are, they're also very good passers and they play together well and they move the ball extremely well. So, you know, that's a challenging thing and, and, and uh, one of the reasons is it's so tough to beat that team. I know that I personally have been part a lot of, of a lot of those games uh, between Maccabi and uh, Cajalaboal, uh, but most of the players here have not been, so their familiarity with this rivalry, rivalry comes uh, primarily from this season. Uh, now this will be our uh, sixth game against them, and that certainly lends itself to uh, uh, a high level of competitiveness, uh, uh, a high level of intensity when approaching the game against one another. Um, I think that uh, it can be helpful for both teams and, and at the same time it, it raises the level of difficulty because you have to work all that much harder to get things done and be successful against a team that knows you so well. Actually, I want to win them uh, like everybody. Uh, we're professional and uh, it's part of the game to play against sometimes against friends or sometimes, uh, sometimes against the ex-team. So I believe uh, tomorrow is going to be like the games before. It's going to be different a little bit like to play, to play against friends that I played with them in the last year and, uh, and play uh, one championship. But I believe uh, that we're a professional player and uh, I want to win uh, like them. Uh, it's different uh, outside and on the court, you know. Like I said, we're professional and uh, even uh, we drink coffee after the game or talk or meet each other. Uh, everybody knows that on the court I want to beat them and, and they want to beat me. Uh, actually, it was a little bit uh, difficult to sit outside two months. Uh, you know, we're a basketball player, and uh, all we want is to be on the court and play basketball. And it was uh, really difficult for me these two months to sit outside and uh, make uh, tough treatments. Uh, yes, and uh, hungry. Actually, I didn't rest so much because uh, straight after uh, we finished in Spain, I, be, I come back to the national team and then play in Maccabi. So I didn't rest so much. But uh, now it's, uh, it's a real time, money time, and we have to be in the Final Four. You know, I know the players, first of all. I can tell them uh, what, they, they, what, they, what they love to do, their players. And uh, I still remember their numbers of the systems. So uh, sometimes uh, I'm on the court trying to tell them uh, their systems. But, uh, you know, it's part of the game, but uh, on the game everybody plays instantly. So uh, it's difficult to, to realize that uh, during the game, but uh, still it's in my mind. Uh, first of all, we take it, uh, I can say myself and I can say on the team, that everybody a little bit, uh, not a little bit, we are sad actually, uh, for the run. And uh, I, want to, I want to win the next game, especially for him. Uh, I think that he won it and he deserved it. He played all the game amazing, all the years, sorry. He played all the year amazing. I think that he deserved it. We'll be in the Final Four for him. Uh, I think they came back, they came to Israel uh, on uh, Monday and maybe they were a little bit tired from the trip and uh, they played a little bit. Uh, it was a tough game for them. Uh, I think tomorrow is going to be a different game. They will come, like I know, they are a tough team. They won't give up so easy. And uh, I believe it's going to be a different game and tougher. Of course, uh, the first goal that we made before the series is to, is to bring the, our home advantage. And, uh, all day, I think we play very good here in Tel Aviv, and uh, we want uh, we want to uh, go back to Victoria to the fifth game, 
uh, we want to finish it here and uh, I hope we will make it. Oh, the focus is huge. Uh, you know, we have a, a big opportunity right here at hand and uh, luckily we have a lot of fans behind us and um, lost a great guy and we need to come out and pick him up as much as we can. The entire team, you know, um, we all have to pick up some of the things he did well and, uh, you know, band together and continue to play as hard as we can and uh, hopefully we can get a big win and, and celebrate with him. You know, that, that's a great team and uh, they do a lot of different things and we have to be able to slow as many of those things down as we can. Uh, we really focus on, on, on doing our best to take away their advantages and uh, hopefully we can come out and do it tomorrow. I guess it's, it's kind of been just me being me, you know, uh, being who I am and I guess it's... <clears throat> kind of my personality to, to, to be that way but you know I, I, I think it's a team thing that, that we really focused on the entire year and it's, uh, it's working out that way. It's a, it's a big crowd man <laughs> and that's, why, that's a big plus for us and we have to be ready you know these guys aren't going to give us anything and um, confidence builds more as the game goes and, and the better you play and, and, and hopefully we can sustain some of the things that we did last game to come out with that victory.